Set up and advocating for change, students at Booker T. Washington in New Orleans took to the streets this afternoon. They did. They're really hoping to bring attention to gun violence across the country, the city, and their own campus. And Mike McDaniel was there as students took a pause from their classes. Because the purpose of this today is for us to take a stand. Near the end of the school day, Tuesday afternoon, instead of a class change, students at Booker T. Washington High School demanded change. Just for everybody to know that we are out here and we, are, we want change. A rally in March around their Central City campus put students like senior Tenaria Palmer front and center. These students want to bring attention to gun violence and work with elected leaders to find solutions. A lot of us face gun violence at a young age and we're harmed by it. So we just want to like bring our friends and peers and our family together and let them know like we're not alone. Student organizers chose gun violence as part of the Aspen Challenge. That's a nationwide initiative designed to get students involved with real world problems. The march lined up with a visit from Mayor Latoya Cantrell, who joined in. She says young people want to be involved, which is why her administration is focusing on high school students. Just having some conversation and dialogue and embedding them in the process of how we're going to make our city safer and keep our city safer. It was only a week ago when someone killed three kids and three adults at a private school in Nashville. Palmer says classroom conversations routinely center around school shootings. It's kind of scary, like not knowing if we're going to be able to have a safe day at school if somebody might get upset and try to shoot the school up. Students here are no stranger to the stranger to the violence. Back in January, a 16 year old student was shot in the leg outside the school. In New Orleans, we've been normalized to losing friends and family. In December, 19 year old Kyron Peters, a Booker T. Washington senior, was shot and killed at a house party in the Lower Ninth Ward. This involvement is to show the importance and bring everyone together as a community, as students, as a school. Joined in solidarity with school and city leaders, these students hope this march will be a lesson plan for action, one step at a time. Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News. The mayor's youth advisory council is working with the city's public safety sectors to spread awareness and bring more young people to the table for all of those solutions.